an example. I have these Roman numerals up here, the letter I and the letter X. I in Roman numerals is 1. X is 10. When the smaller number is in front of the larger number, then you subtract the smaller. So 10 minus 1, this is 9. My question is, with one stroke of the pen, can you make this 6? If I put another I, that would be 8. You can't put 2, just one stroke. V in Roman numerals is 5. If you put that, that would make it 4. There are no more options. How do you make this 6? Here's how. I'm going to add, I'm going to add the S, 6. It spells 6. I had you think in Roman numerals. You were limited to one way. That's the way it is with God. We look at things in the natural. We look at things in the natural. We don't see a way. God steps in and says, I'm supernatural. My ways are not your ways. for some reason um, so I bought this spring coat um, from H&M about a month ago and the only reason I bought it was because the sign where the coats were placed the sign in front of it said $49 so I said oh this is a great spring thin trench let me get this 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 will be great for the, the spring months the times when it's cool and whatnot or early mornings got the coat um bought it got home I, and for i knew my total was when i got to the register my i only had maybe four four 
or five different items and my total was like 320. In my mind, I knew the total was a little bit off, but I wasn't thinking. I was just trying to hurry up and get out of the store. It was very crowded that day. Um, so I get home, look at my receipt. Lo and behold, they had charged me the full price of the coat, which was $99. Um, that wouldn't have been a problem if the sign in front of the coat and there was a rack of the coat. So it wasn't misplaced. There was a rack of the coats um, and it said $49. So I called back immediately once I got home and realized that I was charged $99 and told the manager that I was charged $99 and the coats were marked $49 on the rack. So she put me on hold, went and looked and she did see that the coat had $49 in front. Now, they were not $49, but that's, hey, that has nothing to do with me. My impression and what I saw in your store was $49 for the coat, so that's why I brought it to your register. Okay. So she said, okay, sure. Bring the coat back and uh, we'll give you the difference that you paid. So I said, okay, I'll, I'll be there. I'll, but it slipped my mind and it has been over a month. Yeah, my fault. But still, that has nothing to do with me. The coat said $49, you rang it up for 99, you owe me 50 bucks. So um, I went when I went last week with my mom and I, the girl that I spoke to, the manager, there was a manager there, but she said she couldn't do anything about it because I'd spoken with another manager. Well, that manager wasn't there. So this week I made sure that the manager was there. I called and now I'm on my way out there. But when I talked to her on the phone, she's like, well, it's been over a month. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do it now. Huh? That, Ma'am, that's not my fault. I will be out there with the coat and I don't know if I have to return it or whatever for my entire $99 y'all gonna do something with this coat give me my money I pay for what I want but if I am charged wrong I deserve what your sign said I should be charged for it so I am on my way there I will let you guys know what the outcome is. Um, and I don't even want the $50. Give me a store credit. Give me something. It's, it's just honor what your prices are or what your signs say in the stores. That's not my fault that it was mislabeled. Um, I have nothing to do with that. You, as a store manager... You are to honor, I don't care if it's 30 days or 60 days, you have to honor what your sign says. So I will, I'm on my way out there and I also have a few other returns. I had ordered some stuff online and I received it this week. So some of it didn't work out and I'm taking that back as well. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, so yeah, I'm just out and about. I don't know where else I'll go. I'll probably just go to H&M. Uh, get something to eat and then back home but I'll call you guys back and let you know the verdict had just changed this that and the third i was like girl wrap it up give me um my jacket back and let me go 
I'm so glad that my husband was not with me because he does not take too kind to things like that, but I just let it go. I let it go. We live to tell the story. Um, and it was crowded in there. I, I just didn't have room for confrontation today. I did not. So I didn't get my money back, but I did find a pair of sandals, a cute little pair of sandals, uh, a pair of linen pants that I could wear to work, um, cute little t-shirt, and that was it. That's it. That's all I found. So yeah, now we need to get something to eat because I have not had anything to eat all day long. I only drank water. So I have been fasting since about nine o'clock last night. And it is now 3.39. So I think I'm gonna go to Nukes and get a salad. I really love their salad and I have not had one in over year we moved from that side of town a couple of years ago and when we first moved I would still take the trek over there to get them but I stopped after a while so I'm gonna go to Nukes and get a salad and then I'm gonna go home and just watch some Netflix and chill. Talk to you guys later. Or, yeah, I'll call you back when I get home. strawberry cake something that I don't need but I'm gonna eat it anyways got some salad and yeah I'm just gonna end my night out watching some Netflix go on there and see what they have new watch that and thank you guys for hanging with me today and I will catch you on the next vlog.